channel my name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen unboxing and review this pen actually arrived in the same box as the pen BBS 308 infinite that I reviewed in a video and posted yesterday this is the pen BBS 500 amber is a cat it's a spring piston filler this joins my other pen BBS 500 in galaxy so let's look at the unboxing and then take a good look at this pen and compare it to the galaxy 500 right now <laughs> So you probably won't see this video uh, for about a week from now, but uh, I thought I'd do the unboxing first and then we'll go from there. Get ourselves a sharp knife and we fast forward as usual and see what's in the box. And another piece of resistance a plain gray box. Those of you that had these before will know exactly what this is. And let's see. Were the cats quarantined? No, the cats are not in quarantine. And there he is. Or she is, I'm not sure. That's Amber. And this is Amber. And my video will probably have a bunch of Amber in it. Cute. And let's open this puppy up. Sorry, no puppies. It's a cat. Dear Diary, yesterday I put in a simple request regarding the door to the garden, but seemingly out of sheer spite, the authorities refused to hold the door open long enough for me to decide whether to go outside or inside or outside or inside. And what kind of a cat is it, you might ask, and well, you may. Of course, it's an amber cat. We're not gonna do the ASMR again, sorry. And there it is. I'm just speechless every time I get an amber as a cat. That resin. Look at the chatoyance. And the swirling. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. And it's a bit more translucent than my Galaxy. Galaxy is barely translucent. Mostly opaque, but you can see that spring mechanism in there, but the knot. And there is the amber as a cat with the paw prints. And this is a fine. Works perfectly. Comes apart with no tools. Look at that. Just that easy, right out of the box. Beautiful pen. So I've not decided yet what ink to put in this. Or in this, first I'll clean them out, I'll ink them up, but we'll use this video for the unboxing portion of both. 
since they came out of the same box. So here we are with the Pen BBS 500 Spring Piston Filler in Amber is a Cat finish. I received the box with both the 500 and the 308 about a week ago, and I've been writing with both pens continuously. My wife and I spent a couple of days in the Rocky Mountains this week, and I had a chance to do some extensive writing with both of these Pen BBS 500 spring fillers. The Galaxy 500 arrived back at the end of January, and to my mind at least, the model has taken a bit of a back seat to the new magnetic piston filler, the 492. The 500 model was announced for release in December by Jialong on Instagram. Uh, there was enormous anticipation for this pen. It was finally released around the 7th of January, and we were all huddled around our computers, mashing away at our F5 keys, refreshing our screens, and waiting for our favorite finish to appear. Five, four, three, two, one. It's live. Go, 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 go. <laughs> And watching our second favorites disappear at alarming speeds. I pulled the trigger right away on the Galaxy and completely missed that the clear glass demonstrators were even listed before they too disappeared. Of course, the one finish I was waiting for was the Amber is a Cat. And it never appeared until about three weeks later, and then, of course, I had to jump on it. In the meantime, the new magnetic piston filler was hinted at in limited numbers by Jialong on Instagram in mid-January. With all the new models and new filling systems being released within weeks of each other, there was the 491, then the 492, and the 500. Uh, the 500 here didn't get the focus that I think it needs. So I was happy to spend some quality time with both of these pens. I did a video recently comparing the filling systems of three pen BBS pens, the 456 VAC filler, the 355 bulk filler, and the 492 magnetic piston filler, and the 500 spring piston filler. In looking strictly empirically at each pen's filling system, and choosing the 456 as a winner, I don't think the 500 got the attention it deserved as an excellent, innovative new fountain pen. Let's look at this pen again for its value as a first-class, all-round fountain pen from its looks to its ease of filling, the ink capacity, and the feel in the hand. This time from a strictly subjective point of view. That would be me, my subjective point of view. The pen is growing on me daily. Its overall look is beautiful and elegant, and I think it will stand up to the Moonman M800s in both Amber and Galaxy that should be arriving soon. I've got one of each on their way to me. I look forward to a head-to-head -head video between Cats and Galaxies. Sounds like a science fiction film, doesn't it? My name is Zunar J5-9 Doric 47. Get me the Pentagon. Red priority. You you're a cat. He's the cat from outer space. Who's flying that plane? Walt Disney Productions. The cat from outer space. I'm serious. Although I'm fond of the concave shape of the sections on the 480 and the 456, this section is deceptively long and comfortable. When I first looked at the section on the galaxy and measured it from the top to where it separates from the body, right there, it makes you think that they're roughly the same length as the 480 and the 308. And yet, when you look more closely, you notice the way the base of the section is slightly stepped. Right there, it steps up slightly and very round to that band and then we have the very, very smooth cap threads on the barrel. And then there's this section right here that then has another step up to the main body. Um, that whole bit from this little flare at the end all the way down to here makes this the usable grip section from there to there. 
And so what I'm finding is that it's very, very comfortable because you don't feel any of those steps. I mean, you feel them, but they're not uncomfortable at all. In fact, it gives you a little bit of a grip. And so I'm finding that I can write with this in many different positions. And the pen ends up being very, very comfortable in the hand. So this added space back here means that this section, if you measure from there to there, is a full 31 millimeters in grip space, which is quite a lot. Now, if you ignore the issue of posting, because I don't consider these pens being able to post. In fact, the Galaxy actually allowed you to put the cap on the end. It made it very unwieldy, so I don't really consider that posting. But this one won't even go on the end. So I found that interesting. So if you ignore the issue of posting this pen, I'm completely comfortable with writing this pen unposted as I am my 323s. So if you ignore those posting issues and just feel this pen in your hand, it is a substantial, well-balanced, and comfortable writing experience for medium to long writing sessions. As I said, I've written with both of these pens for hours, and I've yet to feel the need to swap to a different pen because of hand fatigue. And with that huge ink capacity, this pen will write for hours. Let's talk about the filling system. The process is simple and elegant. If this little chrome button on the end is too slippery for you, um, I find it comes undone fairly, fairly easy. You can put a little sticker on the end of there. I've got some uh, little dots that you can get at a stationery store, and you can stick that on the end, and it makes it a little bit more tactile. I would suggest to Pen BBS that if they want to refine this a little bit, to knurl that little bit of chrome right on the end to give it a little bit of a better thumb grip. The spring action of this filler is really the easiest way to fill a large capacity pen. Just two or three quick pumps and you're done. With all the issues I've had with my 492 magnetic filler, using this 500 is a delight by comparison. As far as the spring mechanism being ugly to look at, this is why I chose both the Galaxy and the Amber as a Cat finishes. The Galaxy being pretty well opaque. You can just barely see, yeah, you can barely see right there the spring mechanism. The Amber as a Cat is slightly more transparent in places, as you can see the spring there. Some people would rather see the ink in the pen to monitor the ink level. There are plenty of transparent finishes available in the 500 model if that's what you want. I have no issue with not being able to see the ink level in the Galaxy as I can unscrew the section of either the Amber or the Galaxy. Let me see what I can do this without getting a mess. And just take a look inside to see my ink level. And as you can see, it's fairly clean here. So I haven't had any ink movement up those threads. Now let's take a look at some measurements and size comparisons and I'll return with a writing sample. And please stay tuned to the end of the writing sample where I'll discuss my likes and dislikes about this pen. back with the writing sample portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper we're writing with today. And this is the Pen BBS 500. Amber is a cat. And it is a fine nib.
Let's check the wetness. As you can see, this is a pretty wet nib here. Please see my previous video on nib tuning for how this pen rode out of the box. It was quite a bit drier than this, which is typical of pen BBS nibs. I just tweaked it a bit and it is now writing beautifully. As to line variation, this is no pressure, a little bit of pressure. There is little to no flex in this nib, again typical of pen BBS nibs. However, you do get a variation depending on the angle because of that Waverly tip. So here is a high angle, you get a fairly thin line, a lower angle gets you a thicker line. So when you're writing with it like this, I'd say it's between a fine and a medium in terms of thickness. Let's listen to it right. Very, very nice. As to reverse writing, it does accomplish that. It's very dry and a bit sharp. And some quick writing. So that feed keeps up fairly nicely, even with that increased flow from opening up that nib. I'm informed by one of my viewers that PenBBS's feeds tend to vary in terms of their ink flow. Fortunately, packs of parts are available from PenBBS on Etsy now and then. I think they're only about $8, uh, but you get a bunch of O-rings, feeds, nib collars, and piston parts. So if you have a feed that's subpar, instead of doing surgery on it, you can buy a pack of new ones. So, what do I like and what do I not like about this pen? Well, I've lived with the Galaxy 500 for a little more than a month. And massive tail lights give the 1966 Fords strong rear end identification. And I've written with both the Galaxy and the Amber as a cat extensively for the last week. I'm feeling very comfortable with them both. They're both great writers. They feel awesome in the hand, very, very nice, very well balanced, and just the right weight. And the filling system is winning me over for being fast and easy. It is certainly dead simple to take apart for cleaning when changing inks. If you aren't changing colors, cleaning is even simpler by sticking the nib in a glass of water and just pumping it until the water runs clear then just let them dry. And they are both drop-dead gorgeous pens. So what is not to love about that amber acrylic? I'm going to do a special video soon where I'll just focus on amber with some background on what amber is and what it has meant to people through the ages. And what do I not like? Well, there's only one thing that's Really not a problem for me, but certainly a deal breaker for others. The pen just doesn't post. As I showed, this Amber 500 won't even hold the cap on the end. I know people that have issues with hand dexterity due to hand ailments like arthritis would love this filling system over all of the others, especially the small fiddly bits on converters. The lowest priced Pen BBS 500 models in the less expensive clear and transparent finishes are only $30 on Etsy. That's a remarkable bargain for a fountain pen that takes a lot of ink, is easy to fill and clean, and is such a joy to write with. It also comes in three nib options, REF or round extra fine, F for this Waverly tipped nib, and RM for round medium. The nib is also a standard number six and can be swapped out for a Yovo, a Bach, Nemocene, Schmidt, Goulet, which I think is a Yovo, 
or other standard number six nibs. So there you have it, the Pen BBS 500 spring filler in amber as a cat finish that joins my litter of cats, my 308, my 480, and my 323. Lots of amber. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified when a new video arrives. That just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote.